In Key Stage 3, music, pupils will cover a wide variety of topics. In Year 7, they'll start off with a project we call Taught Like a Musician, in which we try to empower the pupils to describe a wide variety of music. We also look at djembe rhythms using djembe drums and how we can read traditional rhythmic notation before moving on to the blues and how we can learn about triads and walking basses and other chords. Taking that knowledge then onto the ukulele and trying to compose our own chord sequences. From there we move on to Bach's Toccata and Fugue, a piece written during the Baroque period, before then finishing Year 7 looking at theme and variation and applying this to the Classical period. In year eight, we carry on through the historical periods and we look at in the Hall of the Mountain King by Edvard Grieg in the Romantic period, before moving on to a 20th century style of minimalism and how we can construct our own pieces of music using traditional rhythm notation and stave notation. Year eight is then finished off with a more local tradition to our school of Britpop, which was popular during the 1990s. In year nine, we again start the year with another Taught Like a Musician project in which we emphasise the importance of being able to describe and engage with a wide variety of musical examples, describing features using the elements of music, before then continuing on to uh, pop song chord sequences and how we can apply our learning from the previous two years to creating our own chord sequences. From there, we move on to various different genres like film music and reggae before finishing the year on a project called Musical Futures in which pupils are asked to work independently in order to prepare a performance using the skills and knowledge they've acquired during Key Stage 3. Throughout all these different projects, pupils are going to be asked to play and perform on a range of instruments and aiming to perform fluently, accurately, with good technique and expression. We'll ask them to improvise and compose their own ideas in a variety of different styles. We'll ask them to use traditional staff notation and other relevant music notation to the genre they're performing or creating music in. In everything we do, we are going to ask the pupils to use the elements of music to describe the music they experience and try to talk like musicians would. We're going to listen to a wide variety of music from a range of different genres in order to give pupils a wide diet of musical listening. And we want pupils to develop a deeper understanding of the music that they encounter. Throughout all of this, there are also many extracurricular opportunities for music making. For example, the school choir, school djembe ensemble and peripatetic music tuition. At Newman College, we offer Educatus GCSE Music in Key Stage 4. This qualification involves three components. Component 1 is performing and makes up 30% of the overall grade. You would need to perform a minimum of two pieces, one of which must be an ensemble. This work is assessed in school and then externally moderated. Performances can be on any instrument or voice. Component two is composing and also makes up 30% of the overall grade. You would need to write two compositions, one of which must be in response to a brief set by the exam board. Again, this work is assessed in school and then externally moderated. Component three is a listening and appraising exam and makes up the final 40% of the overall grade. This component involves one exam of approximately one hour, 15 minutes in length. You will learn to analyse and describe musical features by listening to unfamiliar musical examples and learning about two set works. The course covers four main areas of study. Area of study one, musical forms and devices. Area of study two, music for ensemble. Area of study three, film music. Area of study four, popular music. You will listen to lots of pieces of music, but will also study two set works, Bedinary by J.S. Bach and Africa by Toto. You'll develop your skills across performing, composing, listening and appraising, better understanding all of the music you experience both inside and outside of the classroom.